The next thing to know about conditionals is that we can nest them inside of one another. So we can have multiple layers deep of conditionals where we're checking for a certain condition to be true, and we can nest them as much as we want, whether it's if and else's, we can throw in else ifs, we just nest them inside the curly braces. So let's try an example. We'll go with this example I've been using in the slides of a password. So let's say a user types some password and we don't know what it is. So that's gonna be invalid. I'm just gonna make it undefined for now. Let's say we don't know what it is. We wanna make sure the password is long enough. So we would check if password.length is, let's say it's greater than or equal to maybe six, eight, not super strong, it should be longer, but just to make our lives easier. If it is greater than or equal to six, we'll check something. If it's not, we'll console.log password must be longer. Great. But if it is greater than or equal to six, we're not done. We also wanna make sure there's no spaces in a password. So we could check if password and the easiest way to check if there's a space anywhere in there, at least with what we know right now, would be to do an index of the space character. So that's not an empty string, there's a space. And remember, if it is found in the string password, we'll get an index like two or seven or 20 or zero. If it's not found, we'll get negative one. So if we find negative one, that means there is a space. So if password.index of space is equal to negative one, that means there is no space. We can then console.log valid password. And then otherwise, we can console.log password is long enough, but cannot contain spaces. So let's test it out. Right now, password is undefined. Let's give it a value. Password will be uh, hello kitty. So that is long enough, but if I refresh, we see password is long enough but cannot contain spaces, and there is at least one space in there. If I get rid of that, refresh, valid password. Now if I get rid of some of these characters, it's too short, we get password must be longer. So the main takeaway from this video should be that we can nest conditionals inside of other conditionals. We could add in another else if somewhere, uh, although I don't really think of, I can't think of a good scenario, at least now with a password where an else if would make sense, but we could continue to nest inside of else, inside of if, but there is a point where it becomes a little bit difficult to read if your code is super nested, and there are different solutions or strategies you can take to alleviate that. We're about to start learning one of them at least, where something like this could actually be written as a single condition. Because in order for a password to be valid, we need the length to be greater than six and we want there to be no spaces. That means it's valid. What if we could just write a single conditional that said, if it's long enough and there aren't spaces, it's valid. That's what we'll see how to do next. There's nothing wrong with nesting. Sometimes you cannot get around it, but you just don't wanna have like five levels of nested conditionals, especially if they all have if and else's. It just can be a bit of a headache to understand. So that's nesting.